Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a body control module, a BCM2 from an Audi A5. Um, looks like it's a 0333, which Autel says they do not support, but we were able to read and write with this. Um, first I tried it with the tablet. Um, the soldering is it's a little bit different pinout for that uh try it that way it didn't work so try it with just my laptop this way um we got two contacts on the back side of the board believe reset and uh xclks and then we have three on the front of the board and <clears throat> when i first got this thing out see this little chip you problem looking chip right here it was right here and it would not read with that connected um, this this one wire right this black one here goes to that end pin of it so I had to uh, heat that and remove that all together but I was able to get it to read all the data went over here to the Autel programmer software for the laptop. Um, I have another video that shows how to install this program and then change the language to uh, English. So first thing first, we went to a mobilizer, selected Audi on the next one. And then right here, We selected the 3634. And why I selected that one is because if you look at the chip right here, it's probably going to be upside down, but you can see 3634 right there on the end. Right there. So from there, we'll click that, click OK. We can uh, read ID first, successful. Then we can read the entirety of the data stored on the chip. This takes a little while, a good five minutes to read. So we'll stop back as soon as uh, this is done reading. We'll save it and then we'll hook up our, our new module and try to flash it in. Here's all our data. So the next thing we'll unsolder all those wires on here and we will solder up the new one. One thing I wanted to mention on this old board I forgot to tell you guys. Part of the instructions were see this little I don't know if you can see it. That right there is flipped up. It connects right there. So we desoldered that and flipped that up to be able to read it. On the new board though, we do not have that. Um, and there's quite a few different components on this other board. Um, as you can see, the, the number on the front is a little bit different. Um, I don't know if you can read it or not. This is JD0582 instead of uh, BR0333. Evidently this one supersedes the other one. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few components that are different from that to that. 
um, get this thing to focus. This is where we connected the red wire before. And so I took my multimeter and I uh, tested and found out that this tab right here is also connected there. Hopefully it's not on the other side of a capacitor or a diode of some sort that's going to prevent us from reading and writing. So we just connected it right there. We're going to go ahead and uh, read the ID. Well, that's a good sign. If it gets past 7%, we're doing good. Looks like it's gonna read what's on this chip. So once it reads, we will then uh, erase and unlock it, and then we'll write it. Save that just in case we need it for anything. We'll go to erase and unlock. Yes. Okay. Now that that's done, we'll read it one more time just to make sure. Like I said, once it gets past seven, we're doing good. Usually it, uh, once you get past 7%, it's gonna read and you won't have any problems. Okay, as you can see, everything's blank now. We're gonna go back to our original one. We're gonna hit it right. Are you sure? Yes. It's always nice to see it go past that 7%. I hate that it sits there. Makes me think it's gonna air out every time. But looks like it's gonna write. Got the green light flashing. Completed. We're gonna go back to this one. We're gonna hit read just to make sure it Took. Oh, we don't need to save that blank one. Cancel that. So it looks like it took, everything looks the same. There's a lot here to compare, but usually when you just click from one to the other, if this first section all lines up like this, you're good. Um, without doing this on the tablet, I don't know if this program right here, once it flashes it, rereads it and matches it all up like the tablet does <clears throat> sorry um so it's always a good idea to just click back and forth from the original to the reread just to make sure that it looks like all the data is the same uh usually if it's not you'll see something in this section that that changed at least uh, a little bit if not all of it so now that we're done with that, we're going to desolder these wires, solder our chip back on, and package these up, and they are done.
you have any questions, feel free to uh, send us a message. Uh, for this cloning service, we usually charge about 250 bucks.